Hi everybody, this is Mark at streamteam.ca. Uh, we've created a new firmware update for the OnD Pro. The version number is 1.7. Uh, we recommend everybody download and install this update. We also recommend everybody factory reset their box after doing so. This update will include all the latest video playing apps, as well as our new Stream Team app, and all the latest uh, Kodi add-ons. Again, we highly recommend everybody uh, factory reset their box after downloading and installing this update as you will only get all the latest apps and Kodi add-ons if you do this. You will lose any apps or add-ons that you've added yourself, but you can go ahead and add those apps again afterwards. So to do uh, the download, you'd click on Settings, Other, and then System Update. If the update is available to you, it'll show right here under Available Updates. So you would simply click there and the download would start. If the download doesn't start or it sits at 0% and you are connected via Ethernet, please switch to Wi-Fi. You are clearly running an older version of the firmware which does not support downloading over Ethernet. Once it's done, right here it's going to say Flash Update. You would click on there and then follow the instructions to flash the firmware which will then restart your box. Um, once it's finished, like I said, it will restart your box and you'll be back to the home screen. This is when we recommend doing a factory reset. Um, again, you'll lose your personal data, but you will get all the latest apps and Kodi add-ons. So you'd go to settings, other, more settings, and then scroll down and click on Backup and Reset. Then click Factory Data Reset, Reset MBX, and then click on Erase Everything. It'll ask you if you want to, say yes. Once it does this, your box will then again restart and go through the process of downloading and installing all the latest apps and add-ons for you. Um, you'll then be Welcomed with the welcome screen, simply go through those steps, reconnect to Wi-Fi. Then you'll be left with this screen looking exactly like this. Um, from here, we recommend absolutely everybody connect to Google Play. Google Play will update apps like YouTube, Kodi, and Netflix. Um, so to do so, you would either use an existing Gmail account that you have, or if you want, you can always create a new one um, simply for your box or if you don't have a Gmail account just click on create new. Once you're done that um, like I said it will update Kodi apps the Kodi app for you uh, Netflix, YouTube, Facebook all those apps and you can go ahead and add any apps that you want as well. Once you're done that um, you'll see these are the ad, uh, apps that we've added as shortcuts for you along the bottom uh, including our stream team app which does have all the video playing apps in it and any new ones that we find relevant for you. Things that you will never be able to find in Google Play. Um, if you want to add or subtract anything from this, you click on the plus button and you can add any apps uh, that you want as shortcuts along the bottom by simply clicking on them and adding a little check mark. Uh, if you want to remove one, just click on it and it'll remove the check mark. Once you've done this, uh, you'd either press the back button on your remote or the back button here in the status bar. And as you can see, now you have all these shortcuts along the bottom. Okay, so this is version 1.7. Again, we highly recommend everyone download and install it and factory reset. If you don't factory reset, you will not get any of the latest apps that we've added or the Kodi add-ons. Okay, thank you very much for your time. If you got any questions, please let us know.